Okay, let's look at example 4. In the figure below, tank X is 3 quarter free water. Okay, in other words, the volume in the water over here is 3 units and the total volume is 4 units. Okay, while tank Y is empty, water from tank X is poured into tank Y until the water level in tank X is twice the water level in tank Y. Okay, so what does this statement mean, right? It means that the water from tank X is poured from X into Y. Okay, so in this case, the water level here will drop, right? Okay, because water is poured from here to here. But the water level here will increase. Okay, and increase to the point such that the water level in X is twice the water level in Y. Okay, that means they want the water level here to be twice the water level here. Okay, and the question asks for the water level in tank X. Okay, so how do we do this question? Okay, remember right, in ratio we go through this concept called internal transfer. So under this internal transfer concept, what stays the same? Okay, is the total, right? The total volume stays the same in this case. Okay, because when water transfer from X to Y, the total volume of the water in both tanks remain the same. Ah, okay, so this is a very important concept which we will use to solve this type of question. Okay, so you find the volume of water first. You take 3 quarter times base area. Alright, 3 quarter times 40 times 30 times height. Okay, you get a total volume of water in the tank X, which is 88,200. Okay, so keep in mind that this is the total volume inside tank X. Okay, so now the water level in here drops, water, water level in here rise, right? But they want the water level in tank X to be twice, okay, twice the water level in tank Y. Okay, so in other words, if the water level here is 2 units, the water level here will be how many units? 1 unit, right? Because you want the water level to be twice of this water level here. Okay, so now I take 40 times 30 times 2 unit, okay, to find the amount of water over here in tank X after the transfer, okay, I'll get base area times 2 unit, which is the height, I'll get 2,400 units. Okay, so I do the same thing for tank Y. I take 50 times 50 times 1 unit. Okay, I'll get 2,500 units. And this will be the volume of water in tank Y. Okay, so just like it's tank X, this is tank Y. Okay. So remember, right, I see that the total volume stays the same. If the total volume stays the same, it means that the amount of water in tank X plus the amount of water in tank Y will be equal to the final volume. Okay, the total volume. Alright, you take 2,400 units plus 2,500 units, you get 4,900 units. And so these 4,900 units will stand for 88,200 cm3 okay which is the total volume all right so from here i can find one unit i simply take 88,000 divided by 4900 i'll get 18 okay and this is not not my final answer right because the question asks for the water level in tank x okay so tank is how many units two units okay so you got to find two units you get 18 times 2 and so the final answer will be 36 cm. So this will be the water level in tank X.